All right, so uh, this is part one of the three-part walkthrough on using Expression Toolbox. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, go ahead and get it installed and working on your system. Uh, the first thing you want to do is after you download it, you should have a zip file. You want to unzip it. And let's look at the contents. Uh, we've got an expression toolbox.jsx bin file. This is the actual script. Uh, we've got a lib folder which contains uh, the library that I use and uh, a couple of help files here. Uh, kind of just a written out version of uh, these videos. Um, okay, what you want to do after you unzip it, you go to your applications folder and inside the Adobe After Effects CS4 folder, go to scripts and what we want to do is drag the uh, library folder and the actual script JSX bin file into our scripts folder. Um, I should mention that the library folder doesn't have to be, you know, it can be anywhere you want. It doesn't have to be even a subfolder inside scripts. It can be anywhere as long as you can remember where this XML file is. Uh, because as you'll see, when you first run the script, you'll be asked to locate it or create a new one. But uh, anyway, let's just jump to it, to that. Okay, let's close this. Launch After Effects. Okay, I forgot to set this up for my resolution that I'm at now, but uh, we should be able to figure this out. Okay, uh, the first thing you'll need to do is go into your preferences. On a Mac, it's under After Effects Preferences, and then you'll go to General. And uh, what we need to worry about here is this uh, checkbox allow scripts to write files and access network uh, without having this checked uh, the script won't be able to do anything because it's constantly writing to uh, the library file and without this checked it won't be able to and it'll just crash so uh, after we check that we say okay and now we're actually ready to run the script actually let me go ahead and try to uh, Resize this. There we go. That should work. Okay. Now you go to File, Scripts, and you should see Expression Toolbox by JSX Bin now. If we run that, you'll get this message. Uh, if you have a license already, then go ahead and uh, copy and paste that. You know, uh, Command V, Control V on Windows. Uh, and if that doesn't work, go to Edit, Paste and uh, paste it right here. Uh, for now we'll just leave it at a trial and say OK. And the next thing we get is this window asking since this is our first run do we want to open existing library or just create a new one. Uh, since I've provided the one I use uh, we'll just open an existing one and uh, what you'll have to do is go into your applications exactly where you put it in the scripts folder. So here it is the ETB main library We'll say OK. Default library updated. Good. And here we go.